yeah with another installment of 80 plus black girl wait <laughs> 80 plus black girl tag questions i am on question 50 57 so i'm getting closer now ain't i yes 57 have you ever watched mean girls yes i have once do you remember the plot kind of was it iconical to me no it starred lindsay lohan and some girl who's got blonde hair mean girls group whatever yada 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 not much sexy people in it as in sexy men so no 58 what is your ethnicity i am black british or aka black caribbean just to be pacific yes i didn't say that word right but oh well but yeah next question do you always try to look fresh does that mean do i always try to make an effort then yes if i got out my bed and went side went outside how i look coming out my bed that is no effort that is not fresh looking you got to make yourself look presentable when you go outside because you just never know who you're going to see because usually when you look rough you see someone from back in the days and you're thinking oh why or oh why look at them looking good and look at me looking rough even though i don't always look rough but the day that i see you i look rough does that happen to you sometimes it's so annoying when it happens as well so yes i always try to look fresh when i go outside there's times when i can't be bothered because i'm going to the corner shop just down the road but i always got to bear in mind who am i gonna see hey i might see a sexy man in it yeah oh my day <laughs> next question do you have a lot of friends no i don't i have a small circle of friends now as you get older i wouldn't say you lose friends but um you know when they got when they get married they got kids different lifestyles i'm in different point of life right now they're on a different point of life right now and you know they got more demands and all that stuff so i've got a small circle of friends yeah 61 what is the last thing that made you cry can't remember i'll say something about crying before when i feel emotional and getting stressed out about stuff but recently maybe getting stressed out about something but i don't remember now because you know you have your moments and you kind of get over it and you move on you do something practical to sort it out or it's something that you can't really do much about until the process is done so yeah what 52 62 what is the meaning behind your youtube name i've said it before in another video but um i've always had the nickname missy b on whatsapp mainly and missy b as in missy missy elliot because she is iconic to me she's i wouldn't say she's a big as in size wise singer because she's lost a lot of weight but you know missy elliot she's done a lot of things rapping songs all those songs she sung and everything and b as in the initial of my surname but i put ee -E as well i don't even know legit missy b back in the days it was missy b youtube channel and then i put london because i live in london and i thought it'd be more authentic missy b london because missy b london means something to me i live in london that would mean i live in london or you see the london so i live in london a lot of london words right now in it let me go on to the next question my gosh what is the last book you read i know i went to college i had to read that book the security book that i had to go through to answer the exam so educational book not even a leisurely book but an educational book and that was a couple of weeks ago or well, that was last month now so an educational book <laughs> 64 what is the last show you watched i know I keep on saying I know because I just I know because I can remember because I was in my bedroom watching that show. It was Emmerdale. It's on ITV. It's a British soap on ITV, the UK channel. So yeah, Emmerdale. <laughs> which sixty-five? Which is the place you go to? Which is the place you go to? I can't figure this out. This person, like I said, they didn't write the questions properly. Legit. I ain't gonna figure it out. So then we go on to the next one. What is your favourite food? My favourite food is desserts. Should it be ice cream or cheesecake? 
I would say ice cream now because I've not had cheesecake for a long time. Budget again, like I said. And there's only some cheesecakes that I like now because these stupid companies keep on changing the ingredients and making them taste different and odd and everything. But ice cream, but I'm, I'm, I'm getting a watery amount on my ice cream. But yeah, Ben and Jerry's cookie dough. That's my favorite so far, yeah. Next question, 67. What would you prefer, black gel or jam? Um, I've not used jam for a long time and I've not used black gel yet, so I can't even answer that. So next question, 68. Are you natural, relaxed or text laxed? Natural, you've seen my hair. Come on, I do natural hair videos. 69. When did you, when did you big chop or were you natural all your life? I big chop, like I said, when I dyed my hair, it went funny because it was relaxed. I didn't look after it. I chopped it. Can't remember how much I chopped off my hair, but it was many years ago. And like I said, I didn't documentate it then because I wasn't into YouTube then. So, who knows? 70, your favorite thing about being black. My favourite thing about being black is my culture. Camera overheated again. Yes, the life of a temperamental camera. On question 70, what is your favourite thing about being black? For example, hair, skin, culture. Culture, skin, because I like my skin, even though I've got like <laughs> scarring and funny moles and you know when your skin is like you got funny yeah it's a bit odd but i do like my skin i like my culture heritage and everything as well i can't imagine myself to be another skin tone because that would just be odd i'm used to this yeah literally i am used to this so yeah 71 what black woman do you relate to the most fictional non-fictional for example olivia pope lauren cox Solange, who do I say I relate to? You know what? I can't think, legit. I can't think, so I don't know. Let me go into the next one. This is when the bad memory kicks in, and this is when I need that information, but I can't think of what it is. See, my hands are dry, but I didn't grease them, but I can't be bothered. 72. Do you ever get told you should use okay? Do you ever get told that you sound like a white girl? No, no, I haven't. How do I sound like a white girl? Legit. If I was more, oh my gosh, oh no, yeah, I'm like, oh my, I'm, are you for real? No way, yay. No, I can't even do impersonation right now as well, so no. 73, do you drink Starbucks? No, I was drinking it once last year because they had this smoothie slushy cooler passion fruit and something else i don't drink coffee i don't drink normal tea but this thing was nice and cold it's a drink like i said there was passion fruit and mango or something something was in it and it was nice and it was iced as well so when it was hot that day hey. but yeah i don't really drink from starbucks regular do you ever say you act ghetto um no maybe no, not the word ghetto. I'm trying to think of other words, slang words and all this stuff, but no. Nah. 75, how often do you get an attitude? I get an attitude when someone frustrates me, annoys me. Um, I, I just, I kind of like use my sarcasm and humour to laugh it off as well. So I don't know how often it is legit. It just depends on the situation. 76, do you like Taylor Swift? Not really. She's had some good songs, but that's it. What else can I say? <laughs> 77, have you ever dated a white guy? No, and you asked me the question before about would I date a white guy or something like that? And it's like, I've not dated a white guy yet. Future, yes. White guy now, but there's no white guys looking for me, so yeah. 78, are you light skin or dark skin? Come on, I am dark skin because I'm not light skin. <laughs> 79, are you loud or quiet? Am I loud or quiet? I'm in between, so I can be loud and I can be quiet. So I'll say in between to be difficult. 80, what would you prefer, beads 
or rope twisters? I don't even know what rope twisters are, so I ain't gonna answer that question. And beads, I've not worn beads in my hair for a long time, so whatever. 81, most annoying question you have been asked. Um, question I don't like being asked is my age, because I don't like to tell people my age, because I don't look like my age, but it's not annoying. But I just don't like to be asking people say, are you sure? Are you sure you're that age? Yes, I'm born on that year. So yes, I am that age. You don't look it. Are you sure? I'll show you my ID. My days. <laughs> 82. Have you, has your weave ever fallen out? Not in public. No. My weave's always been secure. So no. 83. Before this camera goes funny again, please don't go funny again. 83. Who is your favourite black couple? I don't know. Will Smith and Jada or Beyonce or and um, Jay-Z. One of those two because they seem to be, you know. But I think Will Smith and Jada keep it more real. That's what I think. Yeah. American couples. I ain't got no UK couple to look up to like that. So I say Will Smith and Jada. 84. Have you ever blocked someone on Facebook? Yes, I have. Some stalker people, some stalker men, random mans, yes. Fuck. The camera overheated again and it's so annoying. I'm getting close to the end of this video and it wants to overheat again. Let me get these two questions, the last two questions out the way before it overheats again. The second to last one, 84. Have you ever blocked someone on Facebook? And let me repeat it in case from the last clip, it didn't get recorded. I don't know. I haven't ever blocked anybody from Facebook and I said, yes, there's been some stalker people back in the days. When I say back in the days, last year or the year before, not recently, thank goodness for that. But yeah, last question. Have you ever seen a ghost? I think I might have seen a ghost when I was younger, but I'm not sure if I was hallucinating or if it was a dream or a cartoon or something like that i'm not quite sure but yes i think i and it wasn't really a person it was like more of a character but i can't properly remember but it wasn't a person it was odds i know i was sick that time so that's what i'm saying about hallucination but i was very young as well so maybe that's not a ghost I finished this tag now. I think there's about four videos of me continuing this tag, but I did it because I wanted to continue and I was having a bit of fun doing this. You should do the tag too. Maybe I should have been more random with it, but you know, I'm so slow nowadays. I just like to talk and hence why I couldn't get through the whole 85 questions in one video clip because that would have been too long as well. So let me have my fun and just give you installments. And I hope you enjoyed the installments of this tag question thing and i will say thank you for watching i didn't even say thank you for watching the other ones but i liked you know the end screen thing or whatever it is but yes stay tuned for more videos coming from me hair skincare who knows yeah i'll surprise you but yeah thank you for watching anyway goodbye